好，咁我哋咧就講下呢個 Column Chromatography 啦。咁咧呢個技巧咧都係同 TLC 好似嘅。咁但係 TLC 咧，因為咧佢只係一張好細嘅紙啦，其實咧佢就唔能夠做。誒 separation 做好大量嘅，佢只係可以做簡單嘅 analysis 嘅啫。咁但係 column chromatography 咧，因為佢使用嘅 sample 嘅份量啦，同埋佢用嘅 solvent 咧，都係遠遠多過 TLC 嘅。咁所以咧，佢係真係可以咧 separate 咗喺一個 mixture 裏面嘅兩樣嘢啦。咁然後甚至嗰樣嘢可以攞去做繼續，譬如做下一局部嘅 reaction 咁樣都可以嘅。嗱咁都再一樣講一講嗰個 stationary f a c e 同埋 mobile f a c e 啦。stationary f a c e 呢，你發覺呢同 TLC 呢係一模一樣嘅。我哋都係會用到呢啲嘅 alumina 啦，同埋呢啲嘅 silicon dioxide 嘅，即係同 TLC 一樣啦。咁但係呢，我哋之前呢就冇提到過呢個 alumina 同埋 silicon gel 呢，其實佢有咩嘅性質啦。咁你要知道嘅、呃、就係佢哋呢都係一啲好 polar 嘅 powder 嚟嘅。佢哋都係一啲好 polar 嘅 powder 嚟嘅，所以呢，如果係一啲 polar 嘅 substance 呢，佢呢就會比較傾向呢，就黐住喺嗰個 stationary f a c e 嗰度嘅，就唔會跟嗰個 mobile f a c e 走嘅。咁喺 TLC 上面呢，呢啲咁 polar 嘅 powder 呢，佢呢就會係、呃、即係薄薄一層咁樣樣放咗喺呢一個嘅、呃呃、譬如。誒 aluminium 嘅 place 啊，或者喺一啲玻璃啊，或者喺膠上面啦。咁但係喺 column chromatography 裏面咧，呢啲咁 polar 嘅 powder 咧，就會將佢咧 pack 咗喺一支垂直嘅玻璃柱入面。嚇。咁啊 glass column 啦。咁咧，所以咧，你望一望到下面咧，你就會見到㗎啦。一碌玻璃柱啦，入面放咗呢啲嘅 polar 嘅 powder 啦。咁然後上面咧就會倒你嗰啲嘅 sample 落去。咁然後呢，就到佢嗰個嘅 mobile f a c e 啦，咁都一樣視乎情況啦，就睇下用咩 s o f t e n 啦，去令到佢可以行得快啲啦。咁所以啦，我哋睇睇下面呢個圖啦，咁亦都係一樣啦嚇。一開始呢，喺呢一個嘅 glass column 裏面呢，就放咗呢一啲嘅 alumina 啦，或者係 silica gel 呢啲咁嘅好 polar 嘅 powder 啦。咁然後上面呢，就放我哋嘅 sample 嘅、呃呃、sample 嘅 solution 喺上面啦。咁然後呢，就會一路咧倒嗰啲嘅 eluting s o l v e n 入去，咁佢一路由上而下咁樣樣去流嘅時候呢，如果你嗰個 sample 呢係比較傾向溶喺嗰個 eluting s o l v e n 裏面呢，咁佢就會行得快啲啦。如果你嗰個 sample 呢係比較傾向呢係停留喺嗰個 stationary f a c e 啦，即係對個 stationary f a c e 有嗰個 absorptability 同或者嗰個 affinity 比較高呢，就會比較行得慢啦。咁所以你望一望呢度啦，你會見到啦，黃色呢一個部分呢，好明顯呢，佢應該係咩呢？應該係比較 polar 嘅一種東西嚟嘅，因為呢，佢係比較願意留喺嗰個嘅 stationary f a c e 嗰度嘅。但係呢，如果下面，即係呢度顯示藍色呢一樣嘢呢，佢應該係會比較咩呢？相對嚟講比較係 non polar 嘅。因為佢比較傾向停留喺嗰個嘅 developing s o f t e n 裏面嘛，咁所以啦，當你隨住即係不斷咁加嗰個 e l u t i n g s o f t e n 啦，越係 non polar 嗰啲咧就會行得越快啊，越係 polar 嗰啲咧就會行得越慢啦，咁所以咧，你去到最後呢個位咧，你就會見到藍色嗰個嘢咧就會先出嚟啦，而黃色嗰個嘢後出嚟，咁所以呢度都提一提翻你啦嚇，喺 C C 入面咧。嗰、那個 eluting s o f t e n 咧係由上而下咁樣去落嘅，咁但係相反啦，如果一個 TLC 咧就應該好似左手邊呢個圖咁樣樣嘅，因為佢係由下而上咁樣去跑噶嘛，而喺 TLC 個 stationary f a c e 都係同樣係呢一啲嘅 polar powder 嚟噶嘛，所以咧我用翻同樣嘅顏色啊，藍色咧行得比較慢嗰一個咧應該係一個。相對嚟講 ，more polar 嘅一個 substance 嚟嘅喎，但係黃色嗰個咧應該係相對嚟講咧係一個比較 non polar 嘅嘅 substance 嚟嘅喎，咁所以咧 TLC 同埋 CC 咧就好似咧將成件事咧就係、是、上下倒轉咁樣去做，咁但係當然啦 TLC 咧佢咧就係、是、得用好細張嘅紙啦，但係 column chromatography 就真係用好大量嘅 gel 去做嘅。咁所以呢個位呢幾樣嘢呢，大家都要留意到 TLC 同埋 CC 嘅分別啊。咁樣同埋呢，特別呢，我哋喺呢個位裏面呢，有 detail 咁少少講到咧呢兩種 gel 咁佢性質呢，大家要記住咧，佢哋都係一啲 polar 嘅 powder 嚟嘅。嗱咁正因為呢兩種嘅技巧呢咁相似呢，通常呢兩樣嘢呢都係配合住一齊用嘅。咁就係點樣樣咧？通常呢，呢、這個 TLC 或者 CC 呢，就係攞嚟做咩呢？就係、是、攞嚟做 analysis 嘅，就唔係攞嚟做 separation 嘅。
但係呢 c c 呢就真係攞嚟做 separation 嘅，甚至你用完 c c separate 咗啲嘢出嚟咧，你會攞去做下一步嘅嘅東西嘅，即係譬如 organic synthesis 啊咁樣樣啦。好，咁我哋跟住就會睇一條片啦。喺條片入面呢，呢、這個人呢，佢就會嘗試用 column chromatography 呢去 separate 咗喺一個植物裏面嘅胡蘿蔔素啦，同埋佢嘅葉綠素嘅。咁喺過程裏面呢，佢分咗呢兩樣嘢之後，佢亦都會用 TLC 呢去做一個簡單嘅 analysis 啦，可以畀你睇到兩樣嘢嘅對比啦。咁你見到呢，佢喺呢個位置呢，佢又會誒將嗰啲植物呢去中爛晒佢啊，跟住然後又加疏粉啊，跟住然後又 d i s s o l v e 咗佢啦，再做 filtration 啦，去整咗一個 sample solution 出嚟嘅。咁呢個部分呢，我就 skip 咗去唔睇啦，直接呢去睇俾大家睇下呢點樣樣去做呢個 column chromatography。Add a thin layer of sea sand onto the top of the cotton wool plug. Place a conical flask under the column. Add an appropriate amount of the prepared eluent into the silica gel in the conical flask. Stir the mixture of silica gel and eluent to obtain a uniform slurry. Make sure that there is no air bubbles trapped inside the slurry. Transfer the prepared silica gel slurry into the column with the aid of a funnel. Open the stopcock to drain out the excess solvent. Add the remaining silica gel into the column. Until the amount of silica gel inside the column is about two thirds of the column height. Dissolve the sample with a small amount of eluent. The amount of eluent used should not be excess. If the sample is over diluted, the separation efficiency will be poor. Make sure that the sample is dissolved completely. Add the spinach pigment sample solution into the column with a dropper. Add the solution along the inner wall of the column carefully to prevent damaging the smooth silica gel surface. Open the stopcock to drain out the solution from the column. And allow the sample solution to be absorbed into the silica gel. Now you can see two distinct colored bands appear in the column. At the lower position of the column, there is a yellow band moving faster along the column, and there is a green band moving slower. It remains at a higher position inside the column. When the sample solution is almost completely absorbed into the column, slowly add the eluent to elute the bands down the column. 咁黃色係胡蘿蔔素嚟嘅，綠色係葉綠素嚟嘅。The yellow band is carotene. Since carotene is a long polar substance, it moves faster along the silica gel column. 係啦，因為 silica gel 係 polar 啦，胡蘿蔔素係 long polar。The green band is chlorophyll. Since chlorophyll is more polar, it is attracted more strongly by the silica gel, so it moves slower. Add eluent continuously into the column. Never let the surface of the silica gel dry out. When the yellow band almost reaches the bottom of the column, use a clean conical flask to collect the yellow band. 咁啊，因为佢想收集嘅系干净啦，因为前边走出嚟嗰啲你以为冇嘢，但系唔知你系会唔会有啲冇颜色嘅嘢噶嘛。After collecting the yellow band, keep it carefully. Use another conical flask to collect the solution coming out from the column. As chlorophyll is a polar substance, the previously used eluent is not polar enough to elute it out from the column. After collecting the first fraction, change the eluent to a more polar one to elute out the green band. Yes. Sometimes you There are two green bands in the column. At the lower position is chlorophyll A. The one at the higher position is chlorophyll B, which is more polar than chlorophyll A. When the green band reaches the bottom of the column, collect the green band with a clean conical flask. 咁都一樣啦嚇，唔要中間嗰啲，中間收到嗰啲可能有啲冇顏色嘅雜質啦，比較大機會。
The plant pigments obtained from spinach leaves are separated into two fractions. The first fraction is carotin, and the second fraction is chlorophyll. The green fraction collected is chlorophyll A. To collect the more polar chlorophyll B from the column, a more polar eluent is needed to elute it out. We can use TLC to check the identity and the purity of the fractions. Spot the two collected fractions at different positions on the TLC plate. Develop the TLC plate with an appropriate eluent. The composition and purity of the fractions are determined. In the TLC analysis, the two color bands appear as single spots, indicating that both fractions are pure compounds without any impurities. Okay,我们真正去看看它是否是pure的方法 所以我们如果读了Sharp的melting Come 另外一个怎样做boiling In this experiment, we are going to carry out recrystallization and determine the melting point of a carbon compound. First, place one spatula measure of impure ethanamide powder on a watch glass. Gently push the open end of the melting point tube through the powder. Gently knock the closed end of the melting point tube on the bench. Repeat the previous steps until a depth of about 2 mm of powder is compacted at the bottom of the melting point tube. Using a rubber band, Tie the melting point tube to a thermometer. Note that the bottom of the melting point tube is beside the thermometer bulb. Set up the apparatus as shown. Heat the paraffin oil gently and stir the paraffin oil all the time. Observe the solid in the melting point tube. Record the temperature at which the solid starts to melt and the temperature at which the solid melts completely. These two temperature readings indicate the melting point range of the solid. 这个就很简单的实验里面,四十七里面已经做了一个独 具体怎样做呢?其实如果我们就这样看这个缩图的步骤,很简单,将那个impurity的东西用在缩粉里面 在这个位置里,你就已经可以将一些insoluble的impurity整走了去 
嘅進行嘅喎、哦，咁、啊、然後呢。得到嗰個 filtry 之後呢，你呢就可以呢有得佢 cool down 啦，同埋整嗰個 crystal 出嚟啦。咁喺呢個過程裏面呢，因為呢。呃、大部分都係你想要嘅嗰一樣嘢啦，咁佢相似嘅東西，佢就會自己比較傾向咁整齊去排列埋一齊啦，咁然後形成一個晶格嘅狀態啦，咁佢就係一個 crystal 啦。咁喺呢個過程裏面，佢就會自然地排除咗其他都容得到喺呢一個 future 裏面，但係唔係你嗰個 target。誒 substance 嘅嗰啲嘅 impurity 嘅，咁所以咧喺呢個過程裏邊咧 remove 咗嗰啲嘅 soluble 嘅 impurity 嘅。咁喺呢個過程裏邊啦，用最少嘅 solvent 啦，咁因為可以快啲整到個 crystal 出嚟啦。咁由最後啦，得到個 crystal 之後咧，咁都係我哋不嬲經常會用到嘅步驟啦，就係、是、filter wash dry 啦，去得到翻個嘅。誒、呃、crystal 啦，咁但係咧呢一度呢，我哋洗嘅時候呢，就要用比較少啲嘅 solvent 啦，同埋呢，用一個凍嘅 solvent 啦，咁就可以減少你嗰個嘅 crystal 嘅損失啦。好，咁我哋會睇睇呢條片嘅實驗步驟，咁係點樣做呢個 r e c r y s t a l i z a t i o n 嘅？咁條片裏面呢個人呢，佢就有一個 impure 嘅 b e n z o l i c acid 嘅 sample 啦，咁佢呢，就會做一次嗰個實驗俾你睇嘅。I'm gonna place 10 milliliters of distilled water into the flask and set it on the hot plate. I'm also going to place 10 milliliters of distilled water in another flask, which will be used to help transfer the benzoic acid. This also needs to be hot. Here's a large piece of filter paper that I will put in the glass funnel. I'm also going to add 10 milliliters of distilled water to this flask. So the idea is, once everything is boiling, I will use gravity to filter the benzoic acid solution through this setup. Everything has to be hot, otherwise the benzoic acid will crystallize out and not make it through the funnel. Once everything starts to boil, I will remove the filtration apparatus and I will immediately attempt to pour all the benzoic acid solution through it. You can see some of the shiny benzoic acid is already crystallizing out. You can also see some of it is left in this flask. I'm going to use about half of the other hot water to try to redissolve the benzoic acid and pour it through the funnel. Gravity filtration is slow, but if we were to use vacuum filtration, it would cause much more cooling of the flask and cause more of the benzoic acid to crash out. Once all the water gets through, I'm going to rinse the filter one last time with the remaining hot water. And it looks like all of the benzoic acid has made it through, leaving behind this black residue. I'm going to remove the funnel and gently move the flask with the solution to the bench here so I can record the recrystallization. Ideally, the solution should not be moved at all since any agitation can disrupt the otherwise highly organized pattern in which the crystals form. It is also best to have the solution slowly cool to room temperature, otherwise the crystals can form too fast and trap impurities within them. This was filmed over 17 minutes. So you can see decent sheets forming on the top of the solution and nicer looking needles forming at the bottom of the solution. Now that the solution is approximately room temperature, I can place it in an ice water bath for further cooling. 我、哦、片啊睇完啦，佢入面咧都仲有提到一啲 extra 嘅知識嘅。咁首先第一樣嘢想同大家補充翻咧，就係、是、其實咧有時候呢個 recrystallization 咧係唔一定需要做呢個 hot filtration 嘅，因為就視乎翻你嗰一樣嘢有幾唔乾淨啦嚇。你做個 hot filtration 咧，其實你就係想將一啲 impure 嘅、呃、insoluble 嘅嘢都 remove 埋啦。咁有啲步驟裏面唔一定要做嘅。第二樣嘢就係佢入面都有提到咧，點解我哋要用就咁用呢一種嘅 filtration 而唔用 suction filtration？ 因為 suction filtration 咧，佢係會不斷有一個真空泵抽啲空氣噶嘛，咁其實呢一個過程咧係會 cool down 咗你嗰一個嘅、呃、solution 啦，咁就會令到你嗰一個嘅 crystal 咧有可能咧未 filter 完咧就已經 precipitate 咗出嚟啦，咁你咪會有損失你嘅 sample 喺入邊咯。嗱，咁啊呢一度咧就已經係教完咗點樣用 recrystallization 去提高一樣嘢嘅 purity 啦。OK。